Yamana ya bugaga Dikabuga na na wasoko kuruza no yo monsira cha buga Kandira cha kora Yamana ya bugaga Dikabuga na na wasoko kuruza no yo monsira cha buga Kandira cha kora Yamana yamana ya bugaga Dikabuga na na wasoko kuruza no yo monsira cha buga Kandira cha Yamana yamana ya bugaga Ikavugana na wasogo kuruza no yo monsira cha buga Kandira cha Yamana yamana ya bugaga Ikavugana na wasogo kuruza no yo monsira cha buga Kandira cha Yamana yamana ya bugaga Ikavugana na wasogo kuruza no yo monsira cha buga Kandira cha Yamana yamana ya bugaga Itabugana na wasoko kuruza no yo monsira cha buga Kandira cha Yamana yamana ya bugaga Ikavugana na wasogo kuruza no yo monsira cha buga Kandira cha kora Ijiwe shani jite shuka Pishambo ya fuzewe 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 Abi jiwe shani jite shuka, kishambo ya fuzi. Abi jiwe shani, abi jiwe shani, kishambo ya fuzi we. Abi jiwe shani jite shuka, kishambo ya fuzi. Abi jiwe shani, abi jiwe shani, kishambo ya fuzi. Abi jiwe shani jite shuka, kishambo ya fuzi. Tegereza, biza sohora tegereza, abi jiwe shani tegereza. Zasohora tegereza, nabijiwe. Icho ya kugie tegereza, zasohora tegereza, nabijiwe. Icho ya buze tegereza, zasohora tegereza. Icho ya buze tegereza, zasohora tegereza. Zasohora tegereza, nabijiwe. Yamana ya bugaga, ikavuga na na wachera, no yumu sira chafuga, kandira chakora. Yamana ya bugaga, ikavuga na na wachera, no yumu sira chafuga, kandira chak. Yamana, yamana ya bugaga, jeje. Ikavuga na na wachera, no yumu sira chafuga. Kandira cha Yamana Yamana ya bugaga Ika bugana na waso kuruza no yo monsira cha buga Kandira cha kora Tusure mo chane na wano wicha yi murugo Awari murugo ahuri wa wuri mukazi wa wuri murugo Tusure mo kukana tufuwe ngon haabgiji besha Niji te shuka kwi jambo ya vuze Iyo ni mana ya chio pize Haabgiji besha niji te shuka Pishambo ya fuzewe, nabijiwe shani jite shuka. 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 Pishambo ya fuzewe, nabijiwe shani nabijiwe shayo. Pishambo ya fuzewe. Nabijiwe shani jite shuka Mishambo ya fuze Amen Mwami wabami Uhabgichu wairo kukutaju hindu ka Abanu wa shora guhindu ka kukwara abanu Ariko wewe wa mana wendu shora guhindu ka Yo Mimo situ guhaichu wairo Kuzamuri ya mashingwe kukuri imana ya Hallelujah, Hallelujah, it's true I know. 
Let us pray. Almighty God, God Father, the creator of heaven and earth, you lived, you live, and you shall forever live. The Lord who gives life, we take this time praising you because we are still alive. We thank you that we still have peace. We thank you that you have given us the opportunity and time to share your word. We ask you to lead this. We ask you to lead this. Speak to everyone who is listening to the word. Explain it thoroughly. And may you be manifested. We silence the powers of the hell in the name of Jesus. We exalt the banner of victory at the cross. We ask uh, you to humble us so that we may be exalted and lifted high. Amen. The glory is yours now and forever. Amen. We are grateful to the Lord for this beautiful moment. The moment the Lord has given us to share His word. 
the lord has done good ijambo ry'imana ravuga ngo uyu ni umunsi imana yaremye kugira ngo twishime the, the word of god says that this is the lord this is the day the lord has made for us to rejoice in it tubanje kwakira abakristo ba for square we will come for square members ariko turakira nabandi bose batukurikira muri uyu mwanya and we will come also those who are following us now abari mu Rwanda nabari hanze yarwo those who are in Rwanda and those who are outside the country abumva ikinyarwanda nabumva icyongereza kinyarwanda listeners and english listeners mwese muri sanga mu jambo ry'Imana you are all welcome in the word of god reka dusome ubutumwa bwiza nkuko bwanditswe na Yohana Let's read the good gospel it was written by John Igice cya 14 chapter 14 Nasoma kuva ku murongo wa 15 kugera ku wa 10 um Michenda I'll read from verses 15 up to 19 Yohana utuma bwiza igice cya 14 murongo wa 15 kugera ku murongo wa 19 aravuga ngo ni mu nkunda muzitondera amategeko yanjye nange nzasaba data nawe azabaha undi mufasha wo kubana namwe ibihe byose niwe mwuka ukuri tibishoka kwa bisi bamuhabwa kuko batamurora kandi batamuzi ariko mwebweho muramuzi kuko abana namwe kandi azaba muri mwe sinza basiga kimfubye ahubwo nzazaho muri asigaye umwanya muto abisi nibabe bakimbona ariko mwebweho muzambona kuko ndiho namwe muzabaho na shaka gusaba abantu basoma icongereza kubaza gufata umwanya bagasoma muri bibiliya zabo i wanted to ask those who are having english bibles please you may take time and then read afterwards iki ni chumweru cha pentecote we are in the pentecostal week inyigisho twatangiye kuva kuwa gatatu uh the sermon or the theme we began from wednesday tuvuga hejuru yiki chumweru as we are speaking about this week umwuka yaduhaye kuvuga hejuru y'ubuzima bwuzuye umwuka the spirit uh, or the holy spirit led us to speak about the spirit filled life uh munsi wa mbere ari uri amunsi wa gatatu twavuze ko itorero ryo mu gihe cyacu ikeneye experience chasha y'umwuka wera on the first day as it was on wednesday we said that our today's church needs another experience of the holy spirit experience chasha ya pentecost a new experience of pentecost twavuze yuko nacho twakora kugira ngo ibyabaye mu myaka 2000 ishize byongere bibe We said that we can do nothing to experience the same things that happened in 2000 years back in Jerusalem. Ibyabaye abantu bavuye mu cyumba cyo hejuru ngo byongere ibindi bishoboka. What happened when people were in their upper room it cannot be possible to happen again. Ibyabaye buryo bakiri umwuka wera hamanuka ibirimo by'umuriro ndi bishoboka. What happened as they were in the upper room and then the blazes of fire came down it cannot happen again. Kwera yuko byabaye rimwe ubundi imana ntikunda kurepeta ibyabaye. Because it happened once and God usually does not repeat what uh, the incidents. Nubwo twaza mu cyumba cyo hejuru tugasenga birashoboka yuko tutabona ibihumbi bitatu bikizwa ku munsi umwe nkuko byabaye kuri uriya munsi. Even if we come in the upper room we join ourselves in the upper room it might not be possible to get 3000 people getting saved as it happened on that very day Ariko twavuze yuko hari ibyo itorero byo mu byakozwe n'intumwa ryakoze byatumye biriya bintu biba ku buryo natwe dushobora kuba twabikora ahari ni habe biriya ariko akaba ibisana biriya But we say that there are some things that the later church did that we can imitate so that maybe even if what happened may not happen but at least we have a portion of it Kimwe mu bintu twavuze dushobora kuba twakora nubumwe One of the things we say that we can do it's union. Koko twasanze ubumwe ari jo banga ya bire bintu byose byabaye kuri uriya munsi. Because we realized that unity was the secret or was the crucial secret of everything that happened. Twavuze ubumwe mu bice bine. 
we talked about union in four categories we said union in the purpose people were united they had the same goal or the same purpose they were asking for God to manifest people were in the same union in the prayer they were together in the power in the strength and they also used their talents together yesterday we talked about being led by the Holy Spirit we had begun to speak about things that characterize a spirit filled life today I'm going to continue by saying the characteristics or the things uh, that you can see that a person has a spirit filled life so ubuzima abwuzu uyu mwuka bugira characteristic changa bugira ibiburanga so a spirit filled life has characteristics ambere yuko mvuga ibiranga ubuzima bwuzu uyu mwuka koko nzakomeza kuri inyigisho before I continue by talking about the characteristics of a spirit filled life as I will continue this theme let me first speak about four things that people may confuse that there are characteristics but yet they are not hari ibintu bitaranga ubuzima bwuzu uyu mwuka ariko mu buzima bwacu there are some things that do not characterize a spirit filled life in our lives but yet we may take them to be the characteristics of a spirit filled life hari umuntu wigeze kujya mu materaniro ahantu ahageze ngo asanga abantu bose baravuga mu ndimi abantu bose barasimbuka abantu bose baratengurwa abantu bose baratitira arambira ngo sinzasubira muri ari amateraniro nasanza abandi bose batengurwa so there was a person who told me that he once went in the church and he found that uh, every person in the church was spe was speaking in tongues they were all shivering they were all like they were all filled with the spirit and then he told me that he would never go back to that church because uh, he was lost so one of the things that do not mean that a, a life is, spirit, is filled with the spirit it doesn't mean that all people have to speak in tongues have to shiver or have to shake biragoye gutandukanya uwuzu uyu mwuka w'Imana utitizwa no mwuka w'Imana nubuzuye imyuka y'abadayimoni kuko nayo igititiza abantu so it is difficult to differentiate a person who is shivering or shaking because of the spirit of God and the person who is shaking because he's he's filled with the demons because even the demons can cause you to shake or to shiver. Muribuka umugore waje kuri Yesu aramubwira ngo umwana wanje arwaya madaimon. Amadaimon ari maramufata akamutengura akamukubita hasi. You remember a woman who came to Jesus and then he, she said that my child is sick he, he has been attacked by the demons and the child is shaking Ntabwo gutitira kose no gutengurwa kose biva ku mwuka wera gusa bishobora kuva no kuba demon It's not that every shaking comes from the spirit of the Lord it might even come from the demons Akenshi hari gye batuzanira abantu bavuga ngo buzu uyu mwuka wera wa musengera ma demon akavuga most of the time they bring people when they are saying that they are, they are filled with the spirit but when you begin praying or having deliverance and then the demons are being cast out and then after the demons are cast out this person be, be, becomes calm unknown languages or unknown tongues are not only from God but sometimes also they come from the devil if you 
If you want to clearly understand this, you may go to Karaez, to the mental hospital, and then you find people speaking different languages or different tongues. It's not because that they are they are aware of what they are speaking, but it's because they are they have lost their mind. Hanyuma utahwere yenguse nguwere piwa hanuri abantu wangu ngo bumve ko hanuri. Bazi yuko kugira ngo munda hanure abanza gutingerwa agasanga aho atitira agakubitwa hasi akabona kuvuga bakavuga ngo umwuka w'Imana aravuze some people they only think that for a person to prophesy or to say God has spoken you first have to make some action shivering fainting and then afterwards you come speaking that God has said this and this Niba muziko Yesu yavugaga yanuraga nta narimwe Yesu yigeza atengurwa nta narimwe yigeza amera kuri kubera iki twebwe turebera abantu gusa bameze kuriya ko ro bavugana n'Imana If you really remember what Jesus did or the miracles Jesus performed we don't see anywhere that Jesus shook or we don't see anywhere that Jesus would perform miracles after uh, having some actions Kuko abantu benshi tumenyere turi muri society va mu gipfumu cyangwa abantu babaye mu bapfumu cyane benshi bazi yuko kugira ngo umufuma avuge hari uko abanza kwihindura hari byo agomba kwambara agahindura majwi nono yavuga ukavuga ngo ni imana ivuze cyangwa hari uko aganire n'imyuka so we are in a society where so many people are are having a foundation or in in the witch in the witch doctors or in the sorcery and then they have a, this belief that for a witch doctor to say some things he has to wear some mask he has to wear some clothes and then thereafter he makes actions and then he he gives you the message umwuka w'Imana ajya vugana n'abantu batuje so the spirit of the lord speaks with the calm he doesn't speak not only with the people who are shaking. in the prophet of isaiah chapter 30 verses 15 reka tusome let us read yesaya igice cha 30 isaiah chapter 30 verses 15 aravuga ngo uwiteka imana uwera wa isiraeli yavuze ati ni mugaruka mugatuza muzakizwa mwituze no muziringiro niyo muzaherwa imbaraga ariko mwaranze it says that this is what the sovereign lord the holy one of israel says in repentance and rest is your salvation in quietness and trust is your strength but you so, would have none of it bibiravuze ngo mwituze no muziringiro niyo muherwa imbaraga so the bible has said that in quietness or in rest and salvation that's where i gain strength so umuntu ashora guhanura atuje ashora kwakira imbaraga atuje ubundi imbaraga ndiziza kutugira basazi ziza mu mwuka iyo zije mu mwuka zikora no umuntu w'imbere ndizikora no ubuzima busanzwe namaranga mutima so a person can prophesy in quietness and the spirit of the lord ca- ca- comes to us to make us prophesy you can prophesy even when you're quiet or even when you're calm second kitagaragaza kuba ubuzima bwuzu uyu mwuka that doesn't characterize a spiritual field life ariko dukeka yuko ari cyo bivuga but sometimes we think that it means nuko ubuzima bwuzu uyu mwuka atari ubuzima buhora bwejejwe it's not that a spirit filled life is is holy daily or usually ntabwo abanyamwuka ari abantu bahora bejejwe so the spirit filled people are not always holy ntabwo mvuye ngiye kuvuga ngo abanyamwuka nuburi nabanyabyaha bahora mu zaha ariko nashaka kubabwira ngo ti bahora bejejwe so i'm not going to say that the spirit the spirit filled people are only holy they are not sinners but i'm not also going to say that they are always uh, in holy sinemera yuko muri ubuzima tugira abantu bahora bejejwe I don't agree that in this life you have people who are always holy. Hari giye tureba abanyamwuka tukagira ngo none bo bahora bejejwe kumanywa na nijoro buri munsi buri saha oyasiko bimeze. Sometimes we see the spirit the spirit filled people and then we think that they are always holy they are always saints they are so called to be saints that every day in their usual life no that's not the way it is. Yohana wa mbere gice cya mbere umurongo wa munani the book of first john chapter 1 verses 8 hara magambo ari mu meza cyane there are some good words bibiravuga muri yohana wa mbere igice cya mbere umurongo wa munani 
The Bible says in 1 John chapter 1 verses 8 ngo nituvuga ko ari nta cyadufite tuba twishutse ukuri kuba gutari muri twebwe If we claim to be without sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us Nituvuga yuko ari nta cyatwakoza aho no murongo wa 10 ngo tuba tuyise umunya binyoma kandi ni jambo ryayo tiri bari muri twebwe Verse 10 it says if we claim we have not sinned we make him out to be a liar and his word has no place in our lives So umunya mwuka rero no umuntu nawe rimwe na rimwe uba muza So the uh, a holy person is a person who is sometimes uh, in sin or sometimes he commits a sin. Ariko ndahora muza. But he is not always in sin. Birashoka yuko umuzima bwuzu uyu mwuka bushobora kugira n'amwe bugahura n'indegenge. It is possible that a spirit filled life can somewhere somehow encounter weakness. Kunda makuru ya Paulo aravuga ngo ngerageza gukora ibyo nshaka ariko ngasanga ngo zivyo ndashaka. I like the news of Paul where he says that I always strive to do the best but I find myself Gerageza being gukora ikiza ikibi kikandanga imbere zagire ne jewe wisanga na kozi kibi kandi atacyo nashaka gukora I strive to be on my best whatever I want to do the best thing I find the evil is ahead of me what shall I do how shall I comfort myself Muri imisi amagambo ya gakiza no gukiranuka namagambo agezwe abantu barimo bavugaho cyane In these days uh, the words of salvation the words of gospel are trendy Haraba kugira ngo umuntu akizwa n'imirimo There are those who are telling you that you you, you get saved because of your deeds No kuvuga ngo uri twararika ukubahiriza amategeko yose ukubahiriza amasabato ukubahiriza itegeko kurindi kugira ngo uzaje mu ijuru kugomba kumera And then they tell you that you have to be you have to be careful you have to follow the sabbath you have to follow the commandments so that you can go in heaven Hari nabakubwira ngo siko bimeze ngo ahubwo dukizwa kubwo ubundu nta mundu numwe wakizwa kubera gukiranuka And then others come on the other way around and they tell you get saved because of the grace there is no person who can be saved because of the deeds Let me tell you this dukizwa kubwo ubundu We get saved by grace. There's no power that can give us There are no deeds that can give us salvation. There are no rules or laws that can give us salvation. Moses who received the commandment he also failed and he used to speak with God face to face so, so, so we get salvation by grace so the salvation we, we get through grace when Jesus gives us salvation it leads us to the father's home but the reason as why we stay there what makes us to dwell in the home it's the righteous that we dig in ourselves when we are in the home which means a holy spirit person is a person who got saved through grace after being saved every day he strives for righteousness we call it he is sanctified so through righteousness he tries to be sanctified when he commits a sin he makes a step for him to go out of the sin that's why Paul said that I have not yet reached there but there is what I know I forget what is behind me and I strive for what is ahead of me I'm striving I'm striving for me to grasp which means day by day there is power that we build in us so a holy spirit person is not a righteous person is not a sanctified person but rather is a person who goes in a process of sanctification that's why the bible says if you get angry which means that it is possible to be angry the sun should not set down 
so that the, the sins can continue to be on Mara. You should go to God in repentance. So, a day to day we continue to sanctify ourselves. It's not a sanctified life. But it's trying to, to ask for forgiveness to sanctify yourself a day and hour to hour. So this is those who are speaking about grace they don't say. And those who speak about the law did not say. Jesus brought the grace. And there is what the Spirit does in our daily lives. That's why Jesus said that I will not leave you alone, but I will send you a helper. I'm leaving you in the grace. I've made you come to the Father but for you to stay there, for you to be kept there and not go back. There is a spirit of the Lord who shall be with you. He will do something. He will convince you of the sins. He will make you repent. And he will be interceding for you. And he will be interceding with the groans. So a Holy Spirit person is led by the Spirit. The third thing. Uh, a spirit filled life. It's not a life that doesn't have temptations or challenges. Some people think that uh, the spiritual people are not tempted. No, no, Yarwaza, Changa Yarwara. So if they fall sick or they have a person who falls sick in their home and then people begin to ask themselves how come that that spiritual person has gotten a person sick? Most of, the, most of the time they say he has been lying how come he can face such challenges? First Corinthians Chapter 10, verse 13. First Corinthians, chapter 10, verse 13. Na kigeragezo kibasha kubageraho kitari rusangi mu bantu. Kandi imana niyo kwizerwa kuko itazakundira kugeragezwa ibiruta ibyo mushobora. It says, No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. I had said that the temptations are common. The pagans and the believers, they are all concerned. Even beginning, if you take an example of Moses, Moses they were also tempted. His sister Miriam and his brother Aaron, they all caused trouble. Even if you, if you see the life of Job and even God was proud of his life, he was also tempted. Consider the life of Joseph, he was also tempted. Even if you consider the life of Jesus, he was also tempted. There is what amazes me about Jesus. He was tempted when he was in the powers that he had never experienced. The Bible shows us clearly the day he met John the Baptist to be baptized. Uh, uh, there is a way Mark and Matthew they say it about it. They say about it. Say when he met him, he baptized him. 
ava mu ijuru amujaho and then after after the after being baptized the spirit the holy spirit descended from heaven and came to him ah ni muza kureba yohana waravuga ngo umwuka ava mu ijuru ngo amutindaho atinda kuri we and then if you see john he said that the spirit of the lord descended and dwelt or stayed on him ni munda vuga ngo I'm saying that being a spiritual person doesn't mean you cannot be tempted. After the spirit has had stayed on Jesus. Uh, the Bible says that immediately the spirit took him in the wilderness to be tempted. And then he stayed there for 40 days in the wilderness without eating and drinking. But he was still with the spirit of the lord akigaruka as soon as he came back satan aramutora and then the devil trapped him satan wagerageje yesu the devil who tempted jesus umwoka yamutinzeho when the spirit had stayed or Aka, had dwelled him akamugerageza amazi minsi 40 and then uh, tempted him after 40 Adar days yatangwa senga without eating and drinking bread wa umwoka w'imana still having the spirit of the lord so ninde munyamwuka satan atagerageza so what kind of a spiritual person that the devil cannot tempt so navuga ngo kuburu munyamwuka ndibivuga kutagerageza I was saying that being a spiritual person doesn't mean you cannot be tempted. So bivuga ngo Satan ni ngo mongo tugerageze niyo dufite umwuka w'Imana. So which means that the devil has to tempt us even if we have the spirit of the Lord. Kindu chakane. The fourth thing. Umunyamwuka the spiritual person. Ntabwo ari umuntu wagezeyo. Is not a person who is on another level. Who doesn't need to grow spiritually. What I love about salvation is this. There's no adult person. They are all the young ones. We are all the young ones. We are all the sons of God. God doesn't have grandchildren. All people are his sons. It is inevitable that people are not on the same level of salvation. There are those who have called the adults in the salvation. And there are those who call that they are still young ones. But we are all still in the category of young ones. The adults and the young are still sons and daughters of God. We still need to grow. There is no single person who doesn't need to grow. The word of God says you have to grow in the grace of God. And knowing Christ as our King and Savior. So in the grace of God we grow. We grow. TTS tre tre spirituel mu yari magambo nabantu batavugana ga nabantu batarebaga cyane niyo yakurebaga wahitaga ubwo bukumva ari nka Yesu kurebye oya siko bimeze twese turacyakura hari urwego tutarageraho buri munsi kumanywa na nijoro kuwa mbere gwa ku cyumweru ukeneye gukura mu mwuka n'uguru umunyamwuka so we all need to grow spiritually. There are some people back in the university we used to call TTS in French. Because that they, they are so spiritual wise. Even if they would see you, you would think that maybe it's Jesus who is seeing you. But it doesn't mean that even if you are in salvation, even if you are in another level, you still need to grow. <laughs> Sometimes and then a person tells you that ah those ones are still young in salvation we cannot speak anything with them. Yesu yabwiye abantu ngo utameze nk'umwana muto ntazabona ubwami bw'Imana. Jesus told the people the crowds that he was not like a young child will not see the heaven. Rero mu buzima bw'umwuka dukeneye kwiga. So in the spiritual life we need to learn or study. Ni bapaura vuga ngo sindagera yo ndacasiganwa bishaka kuvuga ngo yarakira umwiga umwigishwa natwe niko bimeze none turacyarabigishwa dukeneye kwiga umwuka w'Imana ahora abamusha mu buzima bwacu so if Paul said that he hadn't reached he was still striving it means also that we also need to strive we need to study we need to learn because the spirit of the Lord is always there to make us learn or to teach us navuga ibintu bine bitaranga 
umunyamwuka ariko dukunze kubyitiranya n'umunyamwuka I was talking about the four things that do not characterize a spiritual person or a spirit filled life Chame navuga gayo ko abantu bakunze kuvuga mu ndimi batengurwa batitira tukagira ngo niwe banyamwuka Firstly I talked about the people who speak in tongues they shake and then we think that they are filled with the spirit Icya kabiri twavuze yuko abantu benshi batekereza ko nyamwuka bahora bejejwe nababwiye ko badahora bejejwe bezwa rimwe na rimwe bahora biyeza ahubwo So uh and then the second uh, I said that the spirit the spiritual people all the spirit the spiritual people are not holy rather they keep on sanctifying themselves Chakata tunababwiye ngo dutekereza yuko ari abantu batageragezwa babwira yuko nabo bakiri ku rugamba bagira ibigeragezo And then the third I told you that uh we we think that they are not tempted yet they are still on the struggle they are tempted ikindi nababwiye yuko dutekereza yuko bo batagikende gukura mu mwuka nababwiye yuko bakira abana b'Imana bagomba nabo gukura mu mwuka bakure mu mwuka ni kuja mu ry'Imana rivuga then the another thing i told you that we think that they are they are adults yet they need to grow they need, because they are sons and daughters of god so they need to grow spiritually kugira ngo na dafata umwanya munire ka mvuga ibintu bibiri biranga abanya mwuka zakomeza nyuma for me not to take much of your time let me speak only two things that characterize the spiritual no, no of kumenya ubuzima bwuzu uyu mwuka w'Imana if you want to know uh, uh, the life that is filled with the spirit urebe ubuzima bwa Kristo based on the life of Christ barasana Kristo they look like Christ abanyamwuka ni ba Kristo batoya So the spirit filled people are the little Christ. Niyo mpamvu Paul avuga ngo turi ntumwa mu kimbo cya Kristo. So that's why Paul said that we are disciples or we are ambassadors. If you're being born of the Christ, which means that Christ is being born in you. So you keep on growing but on the good level of Christ. Bivuga ngo umwuka arabzara mu muntu. So which means that the spirit gives birth to Azara Christo. The spirit gives birth of Christ. Bebe data ngo badusabira ngo kugira ngo kugezigiye Kristo azara mu kwa muri mwebwe. So that brethren that we do pray and intercede for you until Je- until Jesus so Christ will be into you. No kongo Kristo yatangiye mu buzima abatangiye kuvuka gahoro gahoro agenda ni gakamere akagenda yaguka umukristo bukuze yagombye kuba garagaza ibimenyetso byinshi bya Kristo kuruta ko garagaza ibimenyetso bya kamere. So if a Christ, uh, if a Christian is saved he is he is he is beginning to step in the steps of Jesus so he begins to to be born or he begins to imitate Jesus instead of being characterized, characterized by the carnal nature mwibuke ah Yesu ngo yakoraga ashimwa n'Imana ashimwa n'abantu Remember that Jesus was born and then he grew up being praised by people and God Yumviriman He was obedient to God. Where, wherever he would reach and then they ask him to do a miracle he'd say my time has not yet come. So which means that Christ is obedience he we would follow God's guidance. We have Christians who don't look like Christ but rather they look like their talents and their nature kind of nature. Uzikuwa no muntu ubwiriza ijambo bakakubwira ngo niba ari runaka sishaka no kumwumva kandi ararifite yarari ha Have you ever seen a person who is preaching and then if a person if the other person says that ah if it's so and so I don't even want to listen about him yet this person has the word in him Wari wabona umuntu usengera mu rwaya agakira ariko utamusigana na wa murwaya Have you ever seen a person who prays for the sick person and the sick person gets healed and this person who cannot leave him with the sick Ah uh, ndibuka mu myaka ishize I remember in the past years Nigeze kwakira umuryango tuganira bari bafite ikibazo cy'umwana I received a family that we are conversing they had a problem of their kid barambira ngo umwana wacu yererwa ya madaimon and then they told they told me that their their son or daughter was possessed with the demon umwana wo mukobwa w'imyaka 17 Uh, a girl of 17 years old bamujyana kwa muganga hose biranga so they took her to the hospital and the hospital so the girl got ill aza umukozi w'Imana ramusengera itakira 
And then there came a servant of God prayed for her and then she got healed. So they left the girl with uh, the servant of God. Uh, it was like two months after the healing. There is no a single sign of disease or being possessed that was healed. So uh, when, when they came to see the, the, the girl, they found that the servant of God had raped her. There is no problem. So uh, you may wonder if this person was was filled with the spirit, if he was filled with the word, if it was the the kind of nature. So differentiate between the talent and being filled with the spirit. Jesus said, "But by the fruit you shall know them, not by their talents." So how many times, how often do people prophesy get their usual people or they have their candidates life? How often do people perform miracles yet they are pagans? Second that uh, characterized uh, a spirit-filled person you can see through the teachings of Jesus. When you read the words Jesus told the disciples, you find uh, the characteristics of a Christian filled with the Spirit of God. Chapter 14 of where we read, it has so many good news. Let me speak like two things. First, so a, a, spirit, a spiritual person is truthful. A person who is filled with the spirit, he has, he has also trust. The Bible says that it is the spirit of the truth and he will teach you all the truth. So the Bible says in uh, John 14 and verses 14 says that it is the spirit of the truth. So if a person is, has a talent uh, but, uh, but he is a liar that means that it's not the spirit of the Lord performing or operating So imagine oh, so many talented people but they have destroyed uh, homes or marriages so he's a, he's a prophet yet he doesn't live with a wife he's a prophet but he left the children he's a prophet yet he doesn't live with the siblings he's performing miracles but when you clearly see about his life he's a liar so the spirit of the truth when it is in a person it destroys the lie so the spirit of God or the spirit of God, the Lord is the spirit that counsels or the spirit that teaches and, Fourteen on twenty six it says, But the counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said. To you. And then he gives knowledge and he gives understanding. You find uh, the spiritual people who are not wise. And then you find a person he is speaking of things of God, yet what he is doing, it's not really, uh, it's not really uh, tangible to be taken as a person of God. Yesterday I said that the spirit of the Lord leads. Uh, 
John 16 verse 16 says that if that spirit comes he will lead you he will lead you when the spirit of the Lord comes he leads and he will lead you in the truth another thing he praises God there is no single time a spiritual person praises or becomes proud rather he praises God so the one of God said that when the spirit of the Lord comes in me he will glorify the father the spirit of the Lord does not glorify or does not give the honor to the person rather it glorifies the Lord Rem, uh, imagine the life of John the Baptist he's doing great work and then he said that listen to the voice uh, speaking the wilderness and then people began to follow him the soldiers followed him the tax collectors followed him people surrounded him and they, the, the people came so that he could make he began to baptize so many people he had so many followers because they had seen God and the talent in him. So as soon as he began to perform miracles, and people asked him that who are you if he was like the, the spiritual people we he have in this he, he would say that I am the Messiah the Messiah they had prophesied had and then he said I am the voice shouting in the wilderness I'm not great. I am so humble. For me, I'm just baptizing in the world. But after me, there is the one who will mars you in the fire. The he is greater. I'm not even worthy to open the shoelace of his shoes. He has to be exalted and how to be humble. He was, it, it was John speaking about Jesus. When he was speaking such words, Jesus came from like a place. He was coming for John to baptize him. And people saw Jesus coming to John to be baptized. Instead of John being proud, I said that this is the son of the Lamb of God. He who removed the sins of the people of the world. He was saying that this is the one is greater. I say that the spirit of the Lord he will glorify the father how many times how many times the people you call to be spiritual they honor themselves they become proud instead of glorifying the father most of them they are given a mere talent or a small talent and then they become great and then they and then you begin saying that I have arrived I am coming, prepare my way and then you begin uh, having people ushering you yet, uh, uh, yet when the spirit of the Lord is in you, you become humble and then the spirit of the Lord in you it, it gets to be glorified and then another thing that characterizes the spirit of the Lord he speaks the things that have not been and then uh, John said that he will teach you the things that will come ahead. You cannot have the spirit of the Lord and everything comes as an incident or comes like a, uh, surprises you. Let me tell you this. The spirit of the Lord is in charge of giving us secrets from God. So, a spirit-filled life is a life that has revelation. 
it doesn't need you to tell people it doesn't need you to ask people to tell you things rather the spirit tells you nusanga uwo rubwira abantu ngo bakubwira ibizawo wiruka inyuma y'abantu ngo baguhanurire nokuvuga ngo umuka muri wewe ni muto ya changa ni ndawo iyo ufite umuka w'Imana uratuza akakubwira igiyo kigeze arakubwira ni yatavuze abayavuze ko atavuze So if you are a person who always follow people or you always chase people to prophesy to you to tell you the things just know that the spirit is not in filling in you or it's not even there because when the spirit of the Lord is there he speaks to you he tells you the thing and even when he doesn't speak he means it has not spoken Navuga vuga ariko aravuga The spirit of the Lord does does not uh, speak anyhow but he talks Muyoborwe no mwoka w'Imana May you be led by the spirit of the Lord. May you, your lives be filled with the Holy Spirit. May you be with the Holy Spirit. I'll not leave you like orphans. You might be living like an orphan. But the spirit of the Lord has come for you to make your witness. For you to be with you. To change your life. Let us pray. Lord, I do thank you. I show you the people who are living like orphans. Because we are living as if the spirit has not come. Speak again in their lives. I pray to every person listening to me. Let them meet the spirit of the Lord. May he speak to them during the time of the spirit. May he remind them what they did not know. May he speak and whisper to them. May he speak through the scriptures. May the Holy Spirit talk to them. My Lord. I know that you do that. I ask that you may do it to everyone listening to me now. Give us to live a change or transformed life. A life that is led by the Spirit of the Lord. The glory is yours. Now forever. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.